Hi guys, Nagraj here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new for this channel, please do subscribe. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will discuss about another Java program that is count number of each words. This question asked in the some of the uh, interview also. So let me uh, show you the example how they ask. Okay, the question is like count the number of each word in the given string using the hash map. For example, there are three scenarios I have mentioned uh, in this video. So first scenario will be like the given input input is in the form of string. The input is like my Java my Java or something any any uh, string value you can take. The output the expected output is like. Java, how many times it got repeated? So in this example, you can see the my repeated two times here also and here also we can find two times. And Java, how many times repeated? In this example, two times and program one times repeated. So this is their expected output. So they'll give the input like so this is the input and you provide me the output like this. So this is how we need to uh, write as program such that we should get the output something like this. Okay. So I may also this is actually regarding the if the given input is in the form of string the next will go to the second scenario with the if the given uh, input in the form of list for example the list may be they they may they may give in the integer and also they may provide in the string as well so if they provide input so three how many times repeated in this so two times so here also and there are two times is repeated like uh, three how many times sorry uh, six how many times repeated one two two times repeated so similarly they are expecting output something like this. If they provide the input something string, then output will be something like this. But in this example, the given input in the form of the list. The next scenario, the input is something the string only, but the output they expected something like how many characters available. See how many times the characters repeated in the given input string. Suppose uh, if you take J, how many times repeated? Only one times got repeated. Okay, so how many times here repeated? Three times repeated in this given string. So this is their expected output. Okay, so we need to write a program in such a way that with respect to the given input, we need to provide the output. So we need to write a program for count the number of each word in the given string, uh, in the string using the hash map. Or okay, in this Eclipse, I will explain you how we can write this script and uh, what are the steps involved in it. So first step is what? Question is like we need to count the number of each word in the given string and uh, first steps definitely we need to take the input string correct we need to take the input format so let me take something like string <coughs> so first step is like getting the input data in the string format the next step is to define the hash map because they have mentioned using the hash map only we need to do this program right okay how to define the hash map so let me take But I want to make sure that how we need to perform this operation hash map because the input data see output anyhow I want something like right see suppose the output I want like Java and program and my so what I'll do now I will split this string and this I will consider as a key of this hash map and this number of count repeated uh, this will be I will take as a values of the hash map so in that case the key i need to take it as a string uh, generics and uh, the values i need to take the integer right so that's why i will take hash map i will take the generics as the string comma because hash map is involved in the key value pairs right i will take this as a string comma integer so the value which is involved i will take it as string and uh, the number of times repeated that will be should be in the integer format that's why i have taken the string and integer now the here the main validation will come into picture now here we should start with the validation now i need to split this value because each word i want right so i, I can split with the space so what i can do string uh, i'll take any uh, it is a string array it will return as a string array for me so i will take the string array of array equal to i need to split this value because the input given to str i need so once i use this split with the space I get the array of string which has the value of pro tech p separately I will get right it's in the form of array now now with using this one so how many times is it repeated now because I need to traverse from here to here so I need to use the for loop for this case right let me write a for loop so i is number of times it is got repeated like array dot length I can take so i plus plus so this is number of times this is in one now the 
logic here is first I will check this number See, anyhow I have created one map here right I will take map let me take if condition if okay if the map is contains some value first I will map contains key so key is what is the key now? Key of the first value I will, I will check the first value of array of i. So what is the array of i now? So array of i contains see array of i means what? Now it is uh, array of 0. Array of 0 is pro. If the pro it is checking actually map dot contains key whether is pro is available in the hash map or not because since we have created the hash map with no data so it actually it will check if the map is contains of i it is it is no only if it is contains only it will get inside otherwise it will come out of the loop and it, I will I will put some else statement here so I need to add see map map dot if it is not there map dot put array of i of 1 now adding the first value to it array of i value I am giving because number of time repeated is one time now so I am adding something like this because this map contains the first value pro now with the value as a 1 because one time is repeated now it will go to the next cycle it will go and check the tech whether it is available or not it is not available in the mesh map right so it will go in, go in here it will add to the number of array of 1 equal to 1 so it is now second element added like that it will go when it is going to the java it will go. similarly it will go and add once it is the number is repeated already java included here but next time once it is repeated now it will go inside this now what i'll do because I need, I know that there is a one uh, method available map dot so I will add this array of i array of i in this case what is the value we get now see array of i in the sense it is checking array of this 0 1 2 3 4 so map dot get of array of i it means it always returns me so assume like we are in this loop okay array of 4 here right we are in this loop so now it is checking what is the return value of it it always returns the value of this particular array of i now value will be in the form of integer so i will take this as account because it is providing me existing account already the array of uh, java has one now in this case but now i need to increase its uh, value by one more times so already i am taking the existing value now what i do now it is getting the value is 1 now because already we have j of uh, j1 is already available right so now it is taking the value of existing value now i will add okay map dot put so what value map of array java now i need to add clown plus 1 because already existing count plus 1 i want because i need to increase the count because number of times so that's it actually so this will work for uh, find for our expected output so finally we need to print the output how to print see uh, every time it is going and running this loop it will keep on increasing the count by number of count in this way, pro it will give one tech it will give two because here two is there which again two java two something it will display in the uh, hash map to print this value i need to take iterator this iterator already we talked about multiple times in the previous video set dot iterator okay so it will returns me the iterator right okay it returns me the iterator now we need to check okay just have taken the iterator so i am taking one by one whether it is the, uh, available or not data so if it is there i need to take the next as it is returning me the uh, entry one by one, I'm uh, with this object. I'm taking uh, get key. Get key in a sense, the uh, as the hash map has the key value pair. So once you get get key, it is display the uh, key value, and uh, once you get value, it is displaying the value. So as I said, we need uh, particularly like uh, the value we have discussed. Like we need something like this, right? So arrow mark plus times we need to add. Already Java. It is updated as a key and 2 is updated as a value. Now I need to add this additional uh, text right, for the better understanding the output. So this we can uh, see by uh, adding this one. right? Key I am adding plus arrow mark. 
and I am using this times so if I run this program right if I run this program I used to get the value like as we expected see tech we got two times so we got something like tech we got two times so you can see here tech we got two times and Java we got again two times and beach also program one times and the pro is one time so this is the output the expected output okay this is the first scenario we have discussed now so hope the first scenario is clear for you now we'll move on to the second scenario which we discussed earlier like if the input data in the form of the list how it works okay. it's exactly similar to the first scenario the concept everything but only thing to update we need to do because as we are providing the list format right let me uh, go back to the eclipse now for time saving purpose i have already uh, done some code of piece of code okay. so this will be the the even input data is the form of the list so what i did here so previously as we discussed like string value we have taken now we i have taken like a list value so i have declared because we are going for the first uh, uh, example now so list value the integer i will take later i will go for the string value so okay let me take some integer value so i have created a list variable i have created the created the list array list object so i have added all the integer data okay so once i added all the integer data so the rest will be the same almost same like as i am taking the integer so i need to uh, arrange like the key value first so key also we have integer that's why i have taken both the integer generics only because the the value also integer and key also integer okay so i have to clear so as we see the list of uh, how many data is available that much loop we need to provide it is almost similar to the world uh, example only so here only uh, uh, some changes we need to make the previously we have taken uh, some array list right so array of i so in, the, in this time we need to take a list of get i because we need to get the first element of the data the first element data is now is 3 in this case right 0th index so that's why i have taken get of i again uh, get the map of it because it is once it is uh, hitting to the key value it is providing me the values that means output uh, means uh, the map values so map value it will take and again like we are increasing the count by one so similarly exactly same like uh, previous one only only uh, few modifications we need in this case right so as usual uh, we are uh, displaying the output if i let me run this program so maybe okay see uh, i got some output like let me print a pc before that let me See how many times two we have three times one two three, right so similarly three we have here in this case two times six two times seven and eleven is one time so this is the output we received the expected output similarly uh, as we said like uh, as we discussed like we need to check for the string array also we need to check for the string array so in this case very slight difference may is like as we have taken some string array let me add some instead of this let me add some string value here let me add one by one because as i have taken the string i need to uh, update as a string here so i have taken the string now okay this is the input data i have given so if i print out this right so, so again we have as we are given the input as a value right so i need to change some update here instead of string i need to update as a instead of integer i need to produce a integer string now because as we are taking the uh, input value so if I run this program only these changes guys so if I run this program it will work fine as we expected so java one times beach two times and program one times and pro is again two times so this is the output correct so now uh, hope you understand how we can uh, identify number of words available how many times repeated that we can display go to the last uh, these two we got right so last scenario as we discussed we need to check the count of each character in the given value how to take the count of it so only small changes we need to do here let me go back to eclipse i have patient the previous one which we have discussed right earlier the first thing so, so here i have taken the i have differentiated each word with the space right? each word differentiated with the space so similarly if i run this program i get the output accordingly right if i run this program let me show you if i run this program i, I got the output something what only small things I need to do for, to get this out because we need to get the each character right? so in order to do that 
that just only small changes we need to do like we need to remove the space so in that time it is taking each characters for the array string array so if i run this program so definitely i should get the you should calculate the based on the characters so let me scroll up and run it again see i got this the output so now j i got how many times so similarly we have many times the space i have seven times space one two three four five six seven seven times space a yeah, i got seven times b got two times so similarly this character also we can avoid by just updating this space by just removing this space i can able to find number of characters available in the the given string so in this video we saw that how many uh, words repeated in the given string and also in the form of the string and if you provide the value as a list and how we can able to find the each character also so that's all hope this will be useful for your uh, interview preparations finally thanks guys thanks for watching this video if you like this video please hit like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel for further useful videos thank you